I've had a relative fall prey to a carer. She was 96 and the carer came along, befriended her. Once she had died, it was discovered that a new will had been made, giving everything to the carer. The current test for testamentary capacity is one that has survived for over 150 years now, the Banks and Goodfellow test. Life expectancy in 1870 was 43 years. The twilight zone is the period when somebody still has capacity, but dementia might be affecting their cognitive abilities. There will be days where they seem perfectly cognizant and very rational. At the same time, other days where they really do struggle to make decisions. People's emotions change. Anxiety where there's never been anxiety before. They may become affectionate towards friends, family, neighbours that they were never fond of before. In that state, they become more suggestible and they become more vulnerable to advantage being taken of them and in some cases, more extreme predatory behaviour. Right now, there aren't enough protections for people in the twilight zone. Some people who have severe dementia may yet have the capacity to make a will. Fraudsters actually look for people with dementia, so whether that's online or doorstep or even romance fraud, which is extraordinary. A lady in her 80s who became the subject of predatory behaviour by a man who was 40 years younger than her, in her state of infatuation, was paying this man's children's school fees. The care industry is under enormous pressure and there's not very much checking of who gets to get a job. Maybe my relative did really want to benefit her carer to the extent of her entire estate. Whether she'd have made that decision 10 years earlier, had she not been so physically vulnerable, is another question that we would never know the answer to. I think this is a, a major problem with the law as it stands at the moment. Vulnerable people are left open to abuse. 